climbing the cloudy tower for the Starshine Beach Galaxy. So the first thing you gotta do on this level is get the cloud. And to do that, you have to swim down into the water by the large tower on the far side of the island. You flip a little switch, and that will activate a cloud that you can get onto, or that will appear. And when you have the cloud, you cannot touch water because that makes it disappear. Uh, not sure. Oh, I guess again the physics don't really, real world physics don't mean anything in this game. Uh, so just keep long jumping over to this area, move a little bit faster. Uh, swim down to the bottom. I think they, you know, despite how challenging this game was in some points, I think it would have been fun to have some areas where air is really a commodity. Like there was never any point in this game where I felt that uh, there weren't air bubbles everywhere and that I was about to die due to lack of air. Whereas there's a lot of really challenging platforming parts that uh, <laughs> really frustrated me. So you stomp on that switch, it activates the cloud, cloud flower, uh, long jump on one of these uh, leaves. And to control it, you just have to walk into the side of the leaf. Don't jump, it's not motion control, just kind of walk into the side of it and they're kind of like hovercrafts. So you jump over, or you control the, ho the hovercraft over here. And when you have the cloud, you can also jump on clouds if you didn't figure that out from before. And you also gotta watch out for those little uh, water guns that are shooting out water. Just do a couple quick backflips and spin at the height of each backflip and eventually you'll get to the top of this palm tree and get the star for the level. 